Hey guys, I wanted to share with you something I've been working on. It'll be in 2017, 28. Um, uh, basically, it, it's mainly for those guys who have got sequences that they're bringing over from Law and other sequences where they had um, uh, singing faces, typically using a, a seven or eight channel type model, um, such as uh, this monster skull here. That we're looking at here it's it's a pretty simple model if you look at the model data it's just it's dumb strings so hence you get lots of repeats of the same number throughout and you can see that there's a mouth down here which is made up of a whole combination of mouth shapes uh, which make the singing face now this particular model um, and I've loaded it up uh, what they've done is they've done an import of effects from LOR and it's brought a whole bunch of on effects in and those on effects have been applied to each of the various combinations of, of mouth. Um, so here you've got the top lip and the middle mouth open. Here you've just got a wavy mouth. Here you've got an O mouth and so forth. And so I've done a bit of analysis of that. And basically uh, this is the combinations of um, mouths that exist. Uh, this is the start channel of the actual model um, and these are the offsets uh, from this for those various combinations. So when it's making a mouth shape that's like an A and I, the, the, these are the channels that are lighting up uh, using these on effects, etc. Now I haven't populated them all and the reason I haven't populated them all is because this mouth uh, can really only do five shapes and so I've gone through and I've chosen five of these uh, mouth shapes. I could have chosen and others but I've chosen these because I think they're um, reasonably representative. The only one I've been very deliberate about is the rest and I, I've included the rest very deliberately because um, the rest uh, will uh, do things like blink eyes and the like. So having a rest mouth is, is a good idea if you want to have auto blinking of eyes or something on your model. So that's all well and good, but obviously the singing face works fine. But what happens if I wanted to add a uh, singing face to uh, this matrix up here and have it follow the same audio track as this? And obviously as a matrix, the only type of face I can really easily put up there is an image face. There, there is another way that you can create submodels to create faces out of this. But in this case, what I've done is I've taken this matrix and I've defined a face model which is just, a, in fact, it's a snowman. And so I've pointed to a whole bunch of snowman faces and defined that on the submodel. And what I want to do is I want to make that snow face, snowman model follow the same as this singing skull here. It's a bit of a mashup of Halloween and Christmas. So what I need to do is I'm going to need a lyric track, but obviously creating a lyric track means going back to first principles, loading in the lyrics, breaking it all down, hard work. But I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I could look at this data here and actually generate myself a lyric track, which I could then use to display uh, my matrix face. So I did. And this is how it works. So we come up to tools and there's a generate lyrics from data. We need to give it a name. So let's just call it lyrics for the hell of it. Now we need a first uh, start channel. And I calculated that out to be 113. Now, where did that 113 come from? Okay, that's a good question. And where it comes from is the start channel here for the monster skull. All right, so it's starting on 113. And then I looked at the stranded node names. Now, remember these ones, this one is actually 113. So I te I've generally subtracted one from each one of these. So the top lip here says it's four. So in my thing here, the top lip I've said is three because it's not, um, 113 plus four, it's 113 plus three. So that's how I've worked that out. Sorry, so we'll come back here. Tools, generate lyrics from data. We're calling it lyrics. We're saying that it starts, the model starts at 113. And then we've said the A and I, we've said that's plus three and plus four from 113. So we come over here. We select plus three. If we hold the control key down, we can also select plus three and four. And we press tab to get out of it. Don't press the OK button because it will um, it will do it. And we said E is plus three and five. So we go to E. 
and we're saying when three and five are selected, that will be an E. And then we're saying the way the ETC is plus six. So come back here and we set that to plus six. And then O is plus seven. So there's O. Uh, make it a bit bigger. O is plus seven and rest is plus five. Rest is plus five. Okay, now they're the only unique combinations. Now I did exhaustively go through this data and look at all the combinations of mouth shapes and these are the only combinations that are in the song. So um, obviously with my lyric track, it's, gonna, it's only going to generate A's and I's, E's, ETC's, O's and rest. It's not going to generate these others. But given that the monster face doesn't do any other shapes either, that should be okay. So we click okay. Don't tell me, why did that not work? Ah, uh, trap for young players. I didn't render all. Okay, so what I should have done is I should have rendered the data. See how the data is now rendered? Well, hang on. let's do a quick render all. So yes, a trip for young players. You've got to make sure that you actually render the data forth in order for this effect to work. Sorry for this tool to work. So I'll let that quickly finish and we'll delete that timing track. Uh, yes. Okay, and let's go back and do it again. So we're going to generate lyrics from data. We're calling it lyrics. We're going to set it to 113. And I'm sorry, but we have to do this again. So it was three and five. Don't press OK. Done that more than a few times. Three and four. ETC was, oh, sorry, it was, it was the other way around, wasn't it? It was three and four and three and five. Three and four, and that was three and five. Uh, ETC was six. Uh, o, seven and five. Sorry, seven. And five, okay, done, all right. So now that it had a rendered data, it could actually extract the data out. And you can see that it's generated this lyrics track. Now, obviously it hasn't reverse engineered the words or anything, we wouldn't expect it to do that, but it has created a set of uh, phonemes. So now if we come down to our matrix here, and if we were to go up and grab a faces effect and drop it on the matrix, and stretch it out at least as long as those uh, lyrics. Okay, so there's our snowman. We we'll come down here, we point our snowman at the lyrics track. He looks good. And now if we click on the song and play it, you can see that the snowman here is singing along with the, um, the monster and he's reasonably in sync as well. So we've managed to uh, take a bunch of uh, channel data, generate a, a phoneme track, and then use the phoneme track to display uh, that singing face. And to be honest, this could be used for any singing face. Um, so rather than importing all of that detailed data onto a, um, e either a uh, regular singing face with nodes, or, or in this case, onto a matrix, uh, we can generate the phonemes and then we can just use the standard face effect for uh, making that sing. And that's a lot, lot, lot less work. So that's all well and good if someone has imported their data onto as on and off effects or on effects onto um, a model. But what if someone has it? What if someone's used a data layer? 
So let's um, quickly come over and change. We'll go to um, Jeff Besner's sequence that he sent me. I think it's that folder there. Uh, we don't care about that. All right, so here, what Jeff has done is, is Jeff's got some um, singing trees up here and he's got a matrix. So the matrix here, I've gone and I've created again, the face definition. Um, okay, I haven't created the face definition. I thought I had. All right, we can quickly go in and um, define that. Uh, my lights, home. Images, snowman, I will quickly go in, e, etc, I'm going to cheat, I'm just going to do the ones that I know I'm going to use, doesn't really matter about the rest, all right, that'll do. We'll save that, okay, so there's a face definition on that matrix. And so let's go and open up Jeff's sequence. So in this case here, Jeff uh, has no effects at all on his singing tree. What he instead has, he has, he has a data layer. So you'll notice you can't click on any of this. This has all been bought in at a data layer. But a data layer is no different than having the effects on it. It's just data that happens to be sitting in there. So if we quickly render that and make sure that that data layer is properly rendered into our FSCQ file behind the scenes, okay, which it, it just did. Um, and we can check that because if we click on play, we can see that our sequence is playing, which is what we'd expect. Oh. Shouldn't have been playing it while it was rendering, but that's okay. All right, so the data's all nice and rendered, so now we can do the same thing. We can go up to generate lyrics from data. Now, Jeff's data is obviously slightly different. His model starts on 81. So how did I work that out? Well, I came over here, and I'm going to do this singing face here. And you can see his start channel here is 81. Now, the challenge with Jeff's is he doesn't have a whole bunch of node descriptions, etc. What he instead has is some model data. And so I can come in here and kind of work out what the mouth shapes are. And I've done the same thing here. And uh, I've worked out the starts 81. And I've worked out the outline. So the A and I, which is normally the biggest mouth of all, is the top lip, which is here it's a four, but obviously that's three offset from 81. So I've written three in here. And the outer line is six, which means I've put a five in here. So I've worked out um, uh, all of these offset channels, etc., for the data. So if I come back to the sequencer, I go tools, generate lyrics from data. Uh, we're going to call it lyrics again, because we're not very imaginative. Uh, in this case, it's 81. And what have we got? We've got three and five, then three and four. So let's do three and five, three, uh, three and four, etc. It was seven, six, and four. So this is seven, oops, it's always been very sensitive. And this one here is four. And notice how four is not actually unique, but the way we work, we work it out pretty well. Um, and we click OK, and it generates me a lyrics track with once again all of those elements in it. Now, how do I, how do I do that mapping? Well, one of the things that you can do here is you can come in here and look at. Uh, uh, let's get this scrolling correctly. One of the things that I did in order to work out all those mouth mappings is I zoomed in here and I looked at, well, what are the unique combinations of these nodes that appear to represent, gone too far, 
uh, the mouth shapes. And you can, you can work that out here. So you can see, well, what other combinations, and they're not all, not all combinations are present here. So you can see here where node seven is lit, it tends to be lit on its own, never with anything else. And it's the same with eight. Whereas uh, nodes four and five are often lit together, or four and six are lit together, but four is never lit on its own. And um, uh, five and six are never lit on their own either. They're always lit in combination. And so I've gone through and looked at all that. And that's how I came up with this combination of numbers here. So again, now that we've got our lyric track in, we can collapse that down. We can grab our faces effect. We can throw it onto, in this case, the roof. Uh, let's zoom in and out. Let's go and grab that, push it to the end, pull it back to the beginning. Um, it's pointing at the lyrics track. It's on the matrix. It all looks good. And now if we click up here, we can see that the snowman is following what this face does. And in fact, if I really wanted to, I could come into this singing tree here and I could override all of this underlying data um, with a similar face effect defined on this singing tree and it would use this phenomenon, uh, phenomenon data and I could uh, drop uh, the underlying node data as well. So yeah, a, a, a way to reverse engineer out that channel data, whether you've brought it in as a data layer or brought it in as a, um, as effects and turn it into a lyric track which you can then use on any face effect on any element so uh enjoy it guys cheers <laughs>